Anger in the streets when a kosher cafe opens in Boyle Heights. Neighbors want it shut down. The LAPD kept protesters back as demonstrators shouted at people at the grand opening. And they're not just angry over gentrification. It's the owners' views that also have them riled up. Mm -hmm. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez is live in Boyle Heights with details on the controversy. Dave? Well, standing in front of this cafe, the man who owns this is an immigrant. He uh, has a number of companies, very successful businessman. Of his 70 employees, he told me that nearly all of them are immigrants. He also said he supports Trump and his immigration policies. And because he posted that, well, that's where all the problems started. So what's the connection? This is what I don't understand. I'm confused. The connection between Donald Trump and a good coffee. 30 years ago, Asher Shalom immigrated from his native Israel to the United States. He told me he cried like a baby when he became a U.S. citizen. And he also said he supports Donald Trump and his immigration policies. And he can't understand why that's so wrong. Everything changed in one day. He was all set for a grand opening of his new kosher cafe in Boyle Heights, not far from downtown Los Angeles. The Boyle Heights Chamber of Commerce had invited him to be a member. They were going to be there to help celebrate. Then he got this email from the chamber president, Jennifer LaHuda, saying that because he posted this on his Facebook page, they called it an anti-immigrant posting, he could no longer be a member of the chamber. They weren't going to show up at the grand opening. And then a group known as Defend Boyle Heights started posting on their social media what was happening, and they called for a boycott, a big boycott. So now we have a full line of police here at Asher Cafe. It was very scary. Um, there was a lot of people protesting outside, wearing masks. They really intensely protested and accosted all the visitors that came to our grand opening event. And they threw a significant amount of feces um, at our windows. Shalom says all because he expressed on social media his opinion about Trump and immigrants. I don't think politics should get in the way of good food. I support him in that I will come and give him my business. This is part of what the chamber wrote to Shalom. Boyle Heights thrives because of our diverse immigrant population. The chamber will always celebrate and support this fact. We will not support anyone who chooses to conduct themselves in a hateful manner, especially towards members of our community. Nothing true. Shalom is a respected businessman who has been honored by both the city and the county for his generous works. My last name is Shalom, and I love peace. We reached out to uh, both organizations, Defend Boyle Heights and the Chamber, and we were told very, very strongly that neither organization would go on camera to make any comments. I'm Dave Lopez reporting live in Boyle Heights, KCAL 9 News.